Headache for Olympic organisers this morning with thousands of border security staff set to strike the day before the Games begin. Today reporter Christina Hearn is in London. Chris, good morning. What more can you tell us about this? Georgie, this is going to cause a huge disruption. Thousands of immigration staff, including those that work at Heathrow Airport, have voted to go on a 24-hour strike the day before the Games. Now, that is Heathrow's busiest day, with 126,000 passengers predicted to fly through. This strike is all over job cuts and also pay. If that's not bad enough for organisers, also news today that train drivers have also voted to go on strike for three days during the Games. In the same day of the suicide bomb attack in Bulgaria, the British mainstream media reported that the staff responsible by the security at UK borders is going to make a mass strike exactly in the eve of the Olympic Games, what means that London will be theoretically opened for the easy access of potential terrorist threats but that actually will turn out to be agent provocateurs, as well as Manchurian drones. It seems to be the ultimate maneuver of the Illuminati cabal to create a false scenario for a false flag attack during the games. And in the way I see it, both the attacks in Bulgaria and Colorado served for the purpose of desensitizing people for what they planned for the Olympics. The killing spree in Aurora happened in the opening night of a very expected event of mass entertainment, just like the Olympic Games. And as long as the movie is called The Dark Knight Rises, the Olympic opening ceremony will display a dark scenario called Satanic Mills. Coincidences? I don't think so. Also is quite interesting that in the time window between both attacks in Bulgaria and Colorado, a young man assaulted the runner who was holding the Olympic torch in the streets of London, screaming Allahu Akbar, which is a common phrase of the Muslim faith that means Allah is greater, and also is a war cry of the Islamic Jihad. Therefore, it takes no Einstein to figure out that whatever happens in London, if it happens, the scapegoats of the Illuminati cabal to be accused worldwide, will be Muslims. Very likely a patsy, a single individual helped by a secret apparatus that will make people believe it was a lone wolf attack, like in Bulgaria and Colorado, and an ultimate instance to blame it on Iran, for justifying the unconditional support of the United Nations to the joint United States-Israel-England, in an Armageddon type of war against the Persian nation.